a paper cup. cup. <laughs> um, it's a cup. Instructions. Spit in a cup and pass the cup to the next person. After everyone has spit in the cup, would you want to drink the spit? Once you had sex, whether you wanted to or not, you're the cup of spit. <laughs> Ew. Oh my god. I'm not a cup of spit. That's just rude. <laughs> That's devaluing someone. Um, I feel like it probably just makes people... Because it's you're gonna have sex, people are gonna have sex, so like once you do and like you take these lessons or if you've already had sex before you take these lessons, it kind of just makes you feel like you're not worth a lot anymore. Yeah. Makes you feel shameful. Yeah. Which is like so bad because it's like our society as it is, like it's already like constantly shaming you. So like if this is something they do at schools, like for your own like teachers, for like people you know to be telling you this, like that's damaging. Yeah. Dang. Um, oh, okay. I was gonna say I think that it's telling you that once you've had sex, you're like dirty and you're being literally being compared to a cup of spit. Um, and so it just is making anyone who has sex with multiple people feel dirty and shameful. Yeah, I think it it targets some girls as well. It, it, like this whole idea of slut shaming, and I think it's actually quite repugnant. Yeah. Well, if I was to learn that lesson at school, I think I would go with it. However, because you can't argue in school with a teacher, so I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to speak up about it how I want to. But I don't think that this really defines what sex is, if you ask me. Um, that's really ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like awesome. it's making everyone think that like they're just a. Uh, a ball of like germs and that no one would want them because someone else has been in them like uh yeah that we're not a cup we're not a cup <laughs>